Good morning. It's another new day, and with that being said, I want to get straight to the point of talking with you about living in these challenging times uh, from an economic standpoint um, because of the pressures of what's going on in the world, knowing that we are no longer a industrialized way of living or thinking or working. We are now an information way of living, thinking, and being. Uh, we are in essence uh, having some challenges with people in the world today who are quote unquote losing jobs as we speak changes in uh, retirement age such as uh, now people are working longer years uh, and getting less money at the end of it uh, we're seeing people now uh, becoming more and more prone to diseases and infections we're also seeing people um, tend to uh, live life in a way that is a reflection of not following principles and values of humanity but creating their own principles and values and then trying to force them onto society for people to believe um, admire uh, honor and um, to to live by and that's and those examples are just creating a lot of tension in the world but as individuals we have an opportunity to innovate and innovation is something that is based upon being flexible in the current world that we live in because flexibility is key to being able to adapt. If we aren't flexible, then we're going to become rigid. And when we're rigid and hard, we end up finding ourselves either compromising ourselves to what the world is giving us or bending back and holding ourselves back from maximizing our potential. And in this time of being able to innovate, we want to be able to know that we are focusing on our passion of what we love to do, what we're trying to do in order to contribute beyond ourselves. And in addition to that, we also want to make sure that for those who are pursuing a post-secondary education and wanting to go to university or college in the future, realize that it's just it's more important now um, than ever to be able to walk into uh, investing into your education with a, a real hard focus on what you want. Um, you might not get what you want, obviously, in your first year. But realistically, you, you must be prepared to know that whatever you're investing in over the next four, five, six, ten years of school, however long you plan to go, make sure that it's your passion that you're focused on. Don't focus on status, credentials, um, labels, letters behind your name, because at the end of the day, there are no guarantees, especially in this type of economy and world that we live in. It is, it is quite obvious that um, that no longer exists of going to university or college and coming out and getting a job right away. And sometimes when that happens, we see people with PhDs working at Walmart working at Tim Hortons because they're desperate. There are no jobs in the economy related to what you go to school to study. So be, stri be strategic in how you live your life, but also be flexible. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't be rigid. Be open enough that you're flexible to adapt as the world continues to change and be willing to evolve as, as the world changes. Because for those who choose not to evolve and be flexible, they will end up losing themselves to the world. And that's when we start to see even more challenges, more um, hard, um, hard times occurring, um, especially from an individual basis that impacts humanity. It doesn't just impact our society, it impacts humanity. So let's have a focus. Let's be innovative around ourselves as individuals and let's be flexible. Have a great day to have a great start to your day if it's morning. Have a great afternoon or have a great evening wherever you are in the world. Take care.